From Asheville, I'm Lauren Gorris. This sounds like something from the future, but if you track storage news, holographic storage might actually sound more like something from the past. In 2005, Enphase Technologies demonstrated a holographic storage prototype to crowds at the National Association of Broadcasters Convention in Las Vegas. Then, nothing. Until now, a company called HVault reportedly purchased Enphase's assets and has brought its idea to this year's NAB, hoping to recapture the storage dreams of broadcasters. For those who've never heard of holographic storage, it's not exactly like what you remember from Star Wars. Extreme Tech explains it's generally a write once, read many storage technique, which would provide faster data transfer rates. And unlike magnetic storage, holographic storage actually uses a photosensitive medium, like photographic film, to store 3D images that represent data. So there is still some 3D in there, and lasers, one called the reference beam, the other the signal beam. The lasers keep track of what data is being written and where it's going, but what's the big advantage here? HVault's website says holographic storage has a 50 plus year archive life, whereas basic magnetic storage, like DVDs, only lasts two to five years. Aside from these illustrations on Wikipedia, we sadly don't have any images of this holographic tech yet, and honestly, that seems a bit odd considering HVault says the tech will launch in spring 2012. So any time now, could it be that we have an in-phase repeat on our hands? Well, I guess we'll see when we, well, See it. From Ashville, I'm Lauren Gorris.